What's up everyone, it's Carson Gamer here and welcome back. So today's video is going to be very important for you Big R fans. I am going to be covering all the patch notes that is scheduled for Tuesday the 6th of October, which is tomorrow by the way. Although saying that, the updates do get delayed by one or two days sometimes, so I wouldn't hope on it too much. Okay, so the first note is, Survival of the Fittest Enhancements. They are adding immediate war paints, six player tribes, the Megapithecus and the Broodmother. Now that is going to be a lot more challenging for those of you who play Survival of the Fittest. Myself, I haven't actually played it at all and I doubt I will anytime soon, as I am far too busy enjoying the PvP aspect of, any, of the official servers. Although I will give it a try at some point in my life. Okay, so second is the new flyer, the Quetzal and Coatless. This is a huge feature for me and probably is for a lot of you. You will now be able to transport resources without having to bring loads of Agentivis with you, as the thing is going to be awesome for weight, along with you being able to build on it. You could probably compare it to a flying Bronto in terms of weight and the building aspect of it. The next one notes quite cool. So fi they finally added an option where you can remove the default sail from the raft. This is a huge feature as for those of you who actually use the raft it is almost impossible to see where you're going with a massive sail in front of your face. And along with building on it, it makes it even harder again. They are next adding the sit on chairs and benches. I know we've already got a chair in the game, a single chair. I don't know if there's any others, but I'm guessing they're going to be adding a lot more different variants, multiple seats on the chairs and benches and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Next up is the machine sniper rifle. This is going to be like the pump action shotgun and the assault rifle in terms of cost. I'm guessing it's going to cost about 60 polymer or something down the lines of that and a whole load of metal. Now that is quite expensive, but considering it's the advanced version of the long neck rifle, it's probably going to be really, really good. Okay, so next we have Trank Dots. This is really, really cool, as we'll no longer need crossbows or bow and arrows for tranking things anymore. I'm hoping you'll be able to use this on the long neck rifles, or maybe even the machine sniper rifle, but either way it's going to be cool, and I'm no longer going to need to carry around my crossbow with me at the same time as my rifle. Last but not least, a very simple feature, you can now lock and pin code elevators. This is going to stop random people running past your base and using your elevator without you even giving them permission. Okay, so now I'm going to be moving on to the two new dinos that were mentioned in the latest dossiers from last week. First of all, we have the Snidaria, or the Nidaria. I, I can't really pronounce it right, but I'm pretty sure it spells Snidaria. As, this, as Snidaria is barely more intelligent than a plant, there's no effective method to tame one. Though as dangerous as they can be, a few tribes even keep schools of them around to harvest. Most tribes kill the Snidaria on site, then collect its reserve of powerful sedative to use in technically advanced long distance tranquilizers. By the sounds of it, this is going to be a new way of harvesting trank darts so you'll no longer need to rely on narco berries and rotten meat to make narcotics anymore as you can use whatever you yield from the new jellyfish or the snidaria to create these trank darts so that is pretty cool we finally got a natural way to knock out dinos without having to farm for ages okay so moving on to the diplocalius by the looks of the dossier, it shows that it is tameable but not rideable. You cannot mount this dinosaur in any way as it is probably too small. It comes with a little picture of an oxygen bottle showing you that once it is tamed, if you have it on follow whilst you go swimming, it is going to give you bonus oxygen. Now I've read through parts of the dossier and I'm not going to read it all out to you because it will take me absolutely ages. But from what it seems, once you tame one of these, it will increase your oxygen amount i don't know by how much doesn't say but it will increase it allowing you to go swimming for longer periods and go deeper without having to use external gear worrying about drowning In my opinion these two new sea creatures that they announced are going to be pretty cool especially the snedaria or the jellyfish as we will finally be able to get these awesome trank darts without having to farm narcotics for ages which i currently do now Anyway guys, I'm just going to thank you all for watching and thank you all for supporting me on the videos. I do get a lot of support from here from time to time, regarding likes, comments, subscribes, all of that and I really really do appreciate it. 
So keep up the good work and stay tuned for my next upcoming videos. See you then.